hi everyone welcome back to my channel and i hope you all are doing wonderfully well in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this coated peanuts they are so easy to make they are so crunchy and taste so delicious if you like to see how i made this keep watching and without further ado let's get started for this recipe i'll be using three cups of roasted peanuts and it is very important to select the bad or the broken peanuts because for this recipe we need the whole peanuts to be whole and as you can see over here i have carefully selected all the broken and bad peanuts i'll also be using two cups of all-purpose flour to that i'll be adding half cup of powdered milk or milk powder a quarter teaspoon of salt next i'll be adding half teaspoon of nutmeg half teaspoon of cinnamon powder now you don't have to combine the both you can either use nutmeg or cinnamon powder So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and mix that very well until it is well combined. In a bowl, I'll add half cup of milk. To that, I'll add one third cup of sugar. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can use any flavor of your choice. And I'll mix that well till combine. So now we'll begin by pouring the roasted peanuts into a big enough bowl. Next, we are going to add some of our milk mixture. Now the milk mixture, we are going to be adding it bit by bit. So don't add too much. Once that step is completed, you are going to mix this very well with an spatula or with a wooden spoon and be careful when mixing so you don't end up breaking the peanut. Like I said, we need them whole for this recipe. Once that step is completed, we are going to be transferring this into a dry bowl. So make sure you transfer the peanut into another bowl because you don't want to add the flour mixture into this wet bowl. So next I'll add some of the flour mixture to the peanut and then shake the bowl till the whole peanut is being coated. So the first coating is done, I'm going to be transferring the peanuts back into the wet bowl and we're going to be repeating this process for like 6 to 8 times depending on how coated you want the peanuts to be. So once again I'm adding the milk mixture, I'm going to mix that very well and then add the flour mix. I already have a coated peanut recipe on this channel so this is an updated video and it is completely different from the first one I made which I use um, fresh peanuts and eggs. I'll be leaving the link in the description box below in case you want to check it out and compare which of the method you prefer. Thank you. 
At this point, you will notice some of the peanuts sticking together. All you need to do is to separate them and then add some of the flour mixture to prevent them from sticking again. Once you're done with the coating, pour the peanut into a strainer and shake off the excess flour. Here is what the second coating looks like. I'm just going to continue with the coating off camera and I'll be right back. And like I said earlier, you may cut this up to six to eight times, depending on how you want the coated peanut to be. Here I'm done coating the peanuts and they are now coated to my satisfaction. At this point you are moving over to the next step which is the frying process. So preheat some vegetable or sunflower oil on a medium heat and once it heats up go ahead and pour in your coated peanuts and fry on a medium heat till golden brown. I'll be frying mine in my frying spoon because I find it very easy to fish out the coated peanut after frying. So you want to make sure you fry this on a medium heat because if you fry on a high heat, they are going to get burnt. And if you fry on a low heat, they will soak up oil. So make sure you fry on a medium heat. You will know the coated peanuts are ready when they are golden brown just like so. Just take a look at that crunchy and delicious so you want to make sure you spread them out on a paper towel to absorb the excess oil so now I'm going to be frying the last batch We are done with the frying process. The next step is to allow the coated peanut to cool down completely. Coated peanuts are best enjoyed when they are completely cool. So if you eat them while they are still warm, you're not going to get that crunchy effect. At this point, our coated peanuts are completely cool and ready to be enjoyed. You can store them in an airtight container and you can snack on them at any time of the day. So now that you know how to make coated peanuts, I hope you give this a try. It was so delicious. It was super crunchy. If you enjoyed watching this video, please be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And I want to say a big thank you to you all for watching. Until I come your way next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.